Andrew Suku, a father of one who resides in Betavuakten, told Nightly News that his neighbor's furniture building and spraying establishment has been adversely affecting the health of his family, particularly that of his son. He highlighted that since the establishment opened for business in 2020, his son began suffering from severe nosebleeds. The distraught father said he made several complaints to the Neighborhood Democratic Council and the Environmental Protection Agency, but to date, the situation remains unchanged. My son got a bleeding condition in his nose and it started in 2020. EPA got a report and every time they come, they said they're doing investigation, does control tests and nothing so far. He added that his son has not attended school for the year and has since moved to Burbies after being advised by the child's doctor to keep him away from the dust and paint fumes. The elderly Suku related that of late his health too has been affected. After four years, I started developing shortness of breath and um, nausea and all them things because I can't spend the dust and the pain. Drains in the area were also compromised due to the activities at the establishment, which causes his yard to flood whenever it rains. According to him, he confronted his neighbor, Robin D1, about the situation which created a strife between the two parties. This man, like when I complained to EP Vex, and at one time he came home and he did drink and he broke up all of these lights. He added he has had to replace numerous appliances, including air conditioners and washing machines. When I News reached out to the owner of the establishment for a comment, we were told that he was not available. For AGP Nightly News, I am Daisy Richards.